top story, the stunning arrest of Bay Area State Senator Leland Yee on gun trafficking and wire fraud charges. These allegations are serious. They involve gun running and things that frankly are surreal. The indictment itself is shocking. This investigation had been going on since 2011. So a very good question is uh, what took three years? That raises a question of fairness to Leland Yee and fairness to the public. And it also raises a question of whether the government did not think that they had a case they could make until towards the end, the agents started pushing this idea of arms dealing. We're completely devastated. And what we have here literally is House of Cards, Scandal, and American Hustle all rolled into one. For once in my life, I have to agree with the Democratic politician, Daryl Steinberg, who says that the charges against Yi are surreal because this guy has obviously been leading a double life. He's completely two-faced. There are many individuals that look to Bill that I am uh, caring as, as, as really an American. And I will tell you that I am probably as American as anyone else. He has his public persona where he advocates for expanding the laws against quote-unquote assault weapons. It is extremely important that individuals in the state of California do not own assault weapons. I mean, that's just so crystal clear. There's just no debate, no discussion. Expanding the laws against magazines, eliminating the right to possess a vast majority of firearms. He has been a gun control fanatic in California. He's been a leader in pushing gun control down the throats of Californians. You don't want to allow the bad guys to be able to have a weapon that will continually shoot out bullets. And now it turns out he's conspiring to ship illegal guns internationally, to be an arms broker with gangsters and organized crime figures. He is an epic gun control hypocrite. And there have been a lot over the years. Probably the biggest gun control hypocrite of all time. I'm a father. Uh, I'm, I'm an individual who really wants our communities to be safe. God forbid if somehow uh, one of these uh, weapons fall into the wrong hand. Finally, for once, the leadership has come out strong, but it's because the evidence is so overwhelming. When the feds do an investigation, they get wiretaps, they get video surveillance, they put undercover officers in, and all of that was done to him. This morning, the FBI is executing multiple arrest and search warrants. The affidavit that they released in support of their search warrants, and they've been executing warrants all over the Bay Area, who knows who may be next, it reads like a detective novel for crying out loud. International connections and influence peddling and buying votes and selling access to policymakers and legislators, it's just unbelievable. And he's looking at hundreds of years in federal prison for the things that he's done. I'm afraid that it's sort of just the tip of the iceberg about some of the corruption that we're dealing with in Sacramento. We've had a fall recently, come under indictment recently for influence peddling up there, and I just don't think this is the end of it. But all I can say is it couldn't happen to a nicer gun-banning jackass. When a guy does this kind of thing behind the scenes, while in public he's claiming to advocate for government transparency and public safety through all the counterproductive gun control laws that he was pushing, it's never going to be easy, but at the end of the day, you know, we're here in Sacramento to really help people, to protect the general public, and I think that's my priority. He's seen gun control as an opportunity to get name recognition out there. I'm a child psychologist by training. I'm an educator. You know, I care about children. Children really are our future. He was running for state office. I think that campaign has been torpedoed, but that was his next move. I think his Senate career is going to be cut a little short, but uh, good riddance. We don't need people like that in Sacramento. We don't need those kinds of policies, and we sure as hell don't need those kinds of criminals. Leave. This is heavy-duty international arms trafficking with organized crime figures to ship containers full of explosives and grenade launchers. Mr. Yi is exactly the type of dangerous criminal that the NRA has been asking authorities to throw the book at for years. And I hope that's what happens, because the laws that he was pushing pale in comparison to the laws that he was breaking. He was doing things that put all of us in real danger. I'm glad he's going to get his comeuppance. Leland, he will not be on the floor of the Senate ever again.